All right, guys. So we got a new board. 693 Brickport. You know 693 is the best. I don't have to go anywhere else. But on the real, there's quite a bit of wheat here. So that's interesting to note. The ore, only two good ore spots. Is this Cities and Knights? It is not Cities and Knights, but I do like a good Cities and Knights. So intuitively, I think both these spots will go first and second potentially or some. Yeah, I think it's probably like they, sh they should go. And you guys will probably hate me if I take 693. So I've got to look at somewhere else on the board. Wheat port's pretty good too. Also, I think the 8410 is really nice. I think it plays nicely on this board. There's just a lot of options. The thing is, there's there's not a lot of wood either. The wood is very interesting here. Yeah, I think if we get any of these spots here in third, we just take it. Because we just have so many sheep options on the way back. And like the best case for us, absolutely the best case is 6, 5, 11, 9, 6, 3. And at that point, I think that should be a winning position. How's everyone doing, by the way? Hope you're doing well. What in God's name is that? Well, now this is interesting because you leave the 10-8, the 9-10. And that's like, that actually pairs really well with the 6-9-3. If you go 6-9-3, 10-8, build to the 9-10, you have all five resources. You have a 3-1 port to start. You do have the brick. And then you also have the best wood. Risky business. Also, there is the 643 left, which 411 is pretty damn good. I'd be pretty happy with the 6511. I just don't know what this this is a weird pick. I don't know. These kind of plays where you try to shift the board, especially in first, I usually don't recommend it. I think there's just too much instability in a, a given game of Catan that you just can't trust. I I, I can see plays where I take the 810 to 10 10 9. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. I mean, folks, isn't it isn't it 693 with the taking 810 here? Or am I just nuts? It's literally everything, including the 910 on the way back. But then, but then the question is, do we lose the 910? Like, for instance, 643, 910. But we still have a game there. Like, we can go even 83. Hmm, let me think here. 8310 right. And then we've just got the the road network we've got the brick port the three ones tons of production i think it's 693 yes true 693 well i'm just thinking is there any other options like i think it's either 693 you play off the brick port which is a lot of things you can work there or it's the 643 and you could do 643 9411 potentially and just get the starting wood and just run as fast as you can to the wheat port but the wheat ports it's okay so I'm, I think that's what he's going to take. I think he's going to take that setup if I leave it for him. So that, those are the two options. Either you, you take this and hope that you get... I think we're switching setups, right? I think it works out pretty well. I don't think anyone takes the 910. I just feel like this is really good for us. Because we get the starting 3-1. We get the best of everything. And then the 910 is just, I think, stellar for us. And worst case, we can take the 810-3. I don't know. It just looks good. I do I do acknowledge the merit though that 643, 9411 is really nice. What looks worse? The wheat port? Yeah, the wheat port. Well, the thing too is like the six will become a big target. Also, the question is do I want to leave this whole contraption over here? Like, do I want to leave blue with the 8310? Hmm, might not be that great. But we would have 8310 right which I like the 510 as an expansion. It doubles our wood, picks up the really nice wheat. Don't think you're ever really getting blocked there because no one's going to solo block you up here. No one's going to block your six unless it's really a threat. I take 693. I don't know, guys. I mean, I thought I calculated this. I mean, there's two options, right? Like I said, it's either you play off the wheat port, you play off the brick port. And I think the thing here is that because everyone's kind of putting their flag into or wheat sheep, getting that road advantage might be really helpful for us. The real question is, is if we calculate this correctly, do we get eight? Do we go eight ten to nine ten, or do we take the eight ten three point right? That's what I think. I like eight three ten if you get it. Well, I can't. I can't pick a damn thing. All right. So, if we take eight three ten, homeboy here is taking nine four eleven, and then this guy's going to take the six three eleven, and he he wins. Though we do have. Buko sheep. Lots of sheep here. Maybe too much sheep here. But I'm pretty happy with our life after we go here and here. Like, road settle. Road settle. And I think there's actually a few different trades here for sheep for whatever, right? We can do sheep for wood. We can do sheep for ore. 
I just think leaving potentially both the, like the space might be a problem. I think it has to, it's yeah, well that that's the issue, right? Leaving that might be a really big issue. So it's, it's like it's like the advantage of the 810 is that because if you think about it, we're going to pick up the five wheat. So we're going to have more wheat with the 8310 and we do get more sheep, which kind of is a little dead probably in our hands early, but we get the road network too. And the question is like, if we go 810 to 910, I feel like we're kind of putting ourselves a little bit more in a production dev card game versus if we take 8310, we're doubling down on the fact that we have the best wood and brick. And there's, we only need a few ore trades here and there and we can write off our production. So I think it's 8310 now. If you think of blocking spots, right, we're not gonna get blocked here and not in a meaningful way. So for instance, the six will get blocked, the five will get blocked, the four might get blocked. The nine might get blocked, but then we have the eight here. So we're practically unblockable. The only issue is here is do we point right or do we go up for a port that sheep port supremacy? Yeah. Intuitively, something about right seems right to me. I think right seems right to me. I don't know why. What up, squad? Yeah, yeah. So so we calculated that and then he should he should. Yeah, it's a good setup. I mean, this is Orweed sheep. He should take the 6311 here, like 6311 left and then hopefully find a way to get to 84 if he gets like a road builder. And I think this guy is going to go to 912 first. So I think what we need to do is we need to go for the 10-5. That's probably first on the play. Go brick port. And then from there, we've got a few different options. I just think getting to the 10-5, like, because the thing is, if we point up, we'll need a road road to get the settle versus we point right, we just drop one road and settle. So it speeds us up a little bit on the 510 a little bit faster. What up, Lundy? Muna Fire, welcome, welcome. Glad you guys are here. We're just hanging out. Yeah, yeah, so the... Oh my God. We have a new player. <laughs> All right, so hopefully, let's see what Blue does. I think he's gonna go to 912 first. Did I calculate it? You don't have a lot of wood and brick, just go 912. Yeah, there you go. All right, so now the question is where do we go? Ah, let's wood and brick, baby. I think it's actually 10-5, and the idea is 110 rolls, and we're, we're, what will happen is we can go like road road to 6311. If red wins, man, if red wins, I don't know what to do. I think we got to go right first. The brick port's kind of nice, but I think just getting that 10 to just be really meaningful, super nice. And, and Blue's already committed his road, so uh, unless the the 11 goes absolutely bananas, we should be fine. Like, now we just need a single six. Here it comes. Oh, look, look at this 10, man. I love this 10. Good 10. Yeah, and one, one brick roll, and then all of a sudden, our setup is really set. Ooh, we don't like the fours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Dude has like what? Three roads in his hand or something? He's got something crazy. It's, it's definitely the road settle. We gotta be careful here. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give it. Uh, it's unfortunate Orange has left the game. I don't get Orange's play. Oh, I guess, you know, he got upset that he got plowed and he just immediately left. He had a great, he had a great setup here, which was 634, take the road and go to the wheat port. That's it. Simple. Simple katon. Uh, he should be robbing me here if he knows that I have a bunch of wood. Yep, so... Perfect. But this is what I talked about. You block the eight, I have... I have everything else. And it actually, it's kind of nice. I don't need more sheep here. Nice, nice. Okay, perfect. What are you doing, brother? I'm praying, I'm praying that Orange just goes, Man, this four, man, what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? I might actually think about it, guys. I might be able to sell this for two brick, but maybe on my turn. Such a weird block in the eight sheep doesn't hurt. Well, the thing is, he started with the two sheep, right? So is his? it makes no sense. We both have sheep in our hands. So it's just a bad block. But I guess how else do you affect them? Like, I don't want to give it to him. Maybe on my turn. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, survive. Oh, we got it, guys. We got it. So is there any way we can just take this? Let me think here. I'm looking at red here. Gives you insurance, red. I totally misspelled that, but that's okay. Not not doing it on my turn. Now or never. In light of this, I think what we do is we pick up the 6311. Plop. Now this has done a few things. We've got Buko wheat. So now the 105 was completely redundant. I didn't think we were gonna get that. And now we get robbed because we're at three points. Fantastic for a wheat, but don't need that either. And then we go brick port. I'll trade, I'll trade, I'll trade. Don't, I'll trade the one. That's a good little thing to catch there, by the way, guys. Yeah, we got a lot of production, but 
This is not even a bad trade for us. Like I, I like Wood. I like Wood here. I think that was the right call because the thing is, he's going to steal from us if we don't. Oh God, do I get plucked here? Oh, not good. <laughs> not good. I don't know. I mean, I actually think in this case, Red's probably his biggest competitor, but yeah. Nice manipulate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's manipulate. Oh, we're getting robbed again. Are we getting robbed again? No, 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 no. It's going to be Red. That's what I like to say. So perfect. Now we've got a really good amount here of wood and brick. Don't really have a 3-1 yet. I think a 3-1 would be nice. Shouldn't it be us? No, it's probably us. Yep, yep. Brick's nice for him. Okay. All right, so is there any case we get this? No, okay. Maybe we can do th this. I kind of want to just get the 9, the 10-5 here if I can. We're, we're chilling. Oh my goodness. Is it red? Okay, perfect. Okay. And what happens is that after... Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, of course. Of course. I don't think we need this much wheat, frankly. Yeah, we don't need this much wheat. But, would... Are you going for the 5, 10, 3, 1? I'm debating about it. Should I? No wood. No problem. Who's scarier? They're both kind of scary. Probably red, but there's nothing good here from red. I get sheep or wheat or brick. I could pop. That's actually not too bad. Don't think this even exists. I probably should go for the 3-1. It just looks ugly, like dropping the extra road here, but it is functionally maybe better for us. Oh, well, let's see what happens. We're gonna we're gonna pass probably not like seven out two or three times this game. Yeah, we need the 3-1 so bad. Okay, so maybe do, do not colonist. Okay, 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 okay. So let's try to do a nice little trade here with Blueski. He doesn't need a lot of I feel like this is good for him. What if I did something like this, brother? Since you're the dev card guy, right? You don't need wood. I'll break you. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way you don't take this deal. All right, all right, all right. You're out of your mind if you're not taking that deal. So I think what we'll do is we'll just drop the road here, guys. Um, Blue is off his rocker, apparently. Now, the question is, what do we do? Do we pour for an ore? We probably do. Actually, the dev's not bad. I, I misplayed that. I should have popped first. I was just so caught up in trying to do a ridiculous trade. So let's see if we can, I don't have time. Let's just pop. Knight's fine. Gives us a little bit of protection. Nice. Now he's got a wood, so we're gonna go after blue here. Dude, this bot, this bot is legendary. All right, there's wood in his hand. He's also got wood too. I, don't, I can't believe he didn't take that trade. I can't believe he didn't take that trade at all. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. I mean, even if we get the road builder, we've got so many other places that we can go. It's it's no big deal. I, I'm, I'm quite liking this configuration. I just don't want to lose the wood here. But actually, no, it's not so bad if we lose the wood because it's very likely that we have a chance to we have a chance to get it back from blue. So it's not a bad deal for us. We did promise no steal for no steal. So we'll put it back on the five. We will hit Mr. Red here. Another wood. Nice block. Man, this is ugly. Getting a night sucked. Such a clunk. Oh my god. Is bot going? I hope the bot wins, man. I'm praying for the bot. I think we're in a good shot here, guys. We get the 3-1. We go brick port. We got all the production. Oh, we can only lose. There's only one card here that we can't lose. You think he's going to get it? I think he's going to get it. Here. Okay. Okay, this is good. All right. So I think the port makes sense. Shazam. I like it. Actually, I don't think there's any other ore out there. I am kind of also telegraphing that I have wheat, but yeah, what's whatever. I mean, he has wheat now for days. Got wheat. Yeah, the production is really good. So now what we'll do is we'll go for the sh we'll go for the brick port. And by that time, I mean, there's probably opportunities for development cards. There's probably opportunities for... I, I just think we're in a great spot here. Tens are nuts. Tens are nuts. I mean, you, you know what I mean? Uh, this is nuts. Now, the question is... Do we pop or do we just road settle? Do we pop or road settle? It's probably just the road settle, but the only issue with that is then we are capped. Jeep cow, you want to poop, man? This You're playing the wrong game, brother. You got to find a new game. <laughs> take take it somewhere else, man. I kind of think the pop's better. Because the thing is, you think about it, guys. We're porting for brick. Look how much brick we have. Versus if we pop, there's utility there. There's VPs, there's monos. I think this is the patient play. I just feel like porting for a brick, it's like we got brick. We don't have to waste our cards. And we get the road builder. Screw my, screw it. Damn it. 
All right. Uh, but this is good because, I mean, we're going to take road anyways, so screw it. I guess we just pass. We could have also dropped the road. That ain't a bad play. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is once we settle on the brick port, that six just becomes instantly targeted. Yeah, see? Come steal my wood. <laughs> what a guy. What a champ. I'm not going to send this message quite yet, but I think we're actually in a good spot for blue to take army. Okay, this is fine. And then a six. So what do we do here? Well, we got the road settled. We probably want to take it, right? And I think at that point, the sixes are nuts. And then where do we drop the other road? Maybe down to the five, two, but then blues kind of incentivize the road settle here, but then we just go five, two anyway. So screw it, right? Plop, plop. And then a couple sixes. Now we have coordinated sixes, right? So a few sixes, that's a city for us. <laughs> this, look how stupid this road. <laughs> this is, as somebody who loves road games, guys, I appreciate the aesthetic of a good road game. But this, this is ugly. This, this is unacceptable. If I see these roads in a screenshot, I'm, I'm going to be disappointed. All right. So we've actually, you know, too, guys, because we do have these sixes and the threes, we could even buy some devs with that. What a nice roll. There is something about a good road network, you know, that ability to connect and it's a perfect 15. There's like, there's a beauty to it. But this, man, this is modern something. This is like, you know, when then the art museum has that toilet on it and they claim it's art. I'm like, no, you're not gonna tell me a toilet isn't a piece of art. Okay, okay, blue, no steel for a no steel. I've also got to look for ore at this point. Okay. I mean, if I can take a no steal and no for no steal, I'm going to take it guys. And I get an ore anyways. So now if I'm not mistaken is a six. So we need like a six and a three or uh, maybe a five and a six. <laughs> Should I say I'm building the 10? <laughs> okay. Well, six is the city. How, how ridiculous is that? No steal, no steal, no steal. Don't you dare. Okay. Oh, what? Flying. Okay, so I think we got to steal from blue here because he's got just a bunch of wood and so does he. Uh, so I think we port for an ore here and we pass and pray for a six. One six. No, don't steal from me. Yes, yes, beautiful. One six. Retired hero, my man, what is up? I guess this is Tuesdays. I, I suppose so. Now there is actually a real question here. Where do we city? And I know a lot of people think it might be the brick port, and you're probably right. But I'm also kind of liking the 6311. Something about the coordinated sixes. Oh, we're getting smashed here. Our day just became a little bit more interesting, that's for sure. Okay, oh, five. Put on the five. Hit blue. That's what I, I love it. Oof, I needed that. Okay, six is baller for us. We need a six. Five, three. Dude, what is going on here, man? These, these rolls. I just need one six. <laughs> Bye! I mean, I suppose things, there's so much sheep on this board, but then we could potentially steal another sheep for a card. Oh, what is that? So what do I do here? Uh, is it the four? But the four seems kind of dog water. Let's go back in. We're going to steal another wood. Oh, it's an ore. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. No sevens. And what I love is every time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Is the seven going to hit again? Oh, man, I know it's coming. Or the mono. We're going to get smacked here. Do I take this? <laughs> Don't you dare. Um, I'll do this. Actually, you know what? There's probably... Oh, no, 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 no. There's probably a brick for wheat sheep, right? Something like that. Like, he, his hand's kind of stuck. El Stucco. No, 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 no. I mean, we got a city. We, we we don't need to get too too crazy here. So, like, what's the play, right? Yeah, look at that. Survive. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, okay. So, we... So we settle, so we city for sure. But the question is where? The question is where? Ah, man, there is an interesting case for the 6311, but it's probably just a break port and say, let's finish the game here very quickly. So let's do this. Let's do something like this or like this, which is the trade he was asking for previously. You should never do this. The issue is our six gets absolutely hammered. That's my, that's my problem here is the six becomes insta target. Well, we're sitting no matter what. Okay, let's do this. Let's do, nah, screw it. We'll just put on the brick. I don't care. I don't care. And then we'll pop. Feels good to me. It's all it's all winning. And then one more six for the boys. Three's good too. I like it. So how do we win? We settle, settle road city. I mean, we have a city in our hands as well. That works. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. We can do this like 20 different ways, right? So I think we we city, settle road. That's game. Yeah, the three is this game. Patience. It's all it's all winning, man. I mean, we, I think six is even winning here. That, that's probably winning. I don't know. I'm not even going to calculate. 
it's it's not winning, is it? So we drop a road. Like, do we just city here? And then like everything wins, essentially? I'm not missing anything, right? We don't have the win. Griff, we're, we're, we're doing this in a very controlled, popping twice. Let's just, let's just wrap it up, man. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> let's just wrap it up, man. I just want to call the day. Um, why not? Why not? And then we trade for the win. Okay. Apparently they're, they're not here to have fun. Like I am double pop. This is content. Don't, don't you want me winning? Dude, bot's doing well, man. There we go. There we go. Okay. So six is two roads. Like you think you're going to take road. Oh, oh, he doesn't. Okay. GG. Can he connect? He needs brick. Yeah, that's game. What in, what the hell is this position? I guess it would be from stealing an ore here. Nah, screw it. We're just going to take the win. We're going to, we're going to move on. Nice win though. Six, nine threes are nasty guys. That was a wild game. I mean, to be fair, threes were just disgusting. Yeah. I don't think I should act like a genius here, but I just think we also had a good game plan. I mean, you've got literally three guys that are saying, I'm going to play Ori cheap. And here you are with the best wood, the best brick. And we got the six, three, 11. I don't know. I mean, I see what red's doing, but eight, four, five, 10, four. It's just too inspired for me. I just don't get it. There's like, there's a certain thing. Like when you are, let's say a, in the lower levels of playing this game, just playing solid will win you majority of your games. And for like a lot of players, they'll, they try to get fancy like this. And it's like, dude, just take, take the nine, five, 10, or take the six, five, 11, make less mistakes than your opponent. And you'll win a lot of games. Look, I, I see what they're doing and I actually appreciate the creativity in this stage in your, your game, just play solid. That That's like the biggest lesson I can give you guys there. Yeah. The three, I mean, the threes are very strong. Um, you know, that's why I, I don't play six, nine, three for, you know, nine, six. I play for the threes. I hope you guys understand that. It's very important. I mean, with the advantage of having the road, the road play, we even lost like even sevening out 13 cards. What else? What else? Is there anything else that I miss anything here? No monos. We appreciate that because we're not pulling a lot of devs. And I think it was also instructive too, guys. When I pulled the dev, I actually believe that was the right play. Uh, when I ported for the dev instead of the road settle, because usually if you're going to spend three cards, you want to get rare resources uh, versus porting like three for one in your cards for a brick when you literally have the most brick in the, the game. It's it just feels very wasteful. It's like, why don't you go get a dev, which can give you a lot of potential and a lot of opportunity and be a little bit more patient to get the brick and on the actual roll. I think like those little moments, it's so subtle because you feel like you're doing something right. I'm getting the point. I'm getting the settle, but that couldn't cost you a lot. Like that little moment of impatience could be the difference of you winning and losing little things like that. I mean, both were good plays. I mean, at this point, we're so far ahead that suboptimal, we're still winning. Yeah, one of my favorite setups, by the way, here I was mentioning about the three, is when you have like just a really strong road production, you know, fives, nines, eights, sixes, and then you just have like an 11 or a three or where it's strong enough to be there and present, but it's not strong enough to be consistently blocked. So like most of the time, 80% of the time, you're playing the road game, you're getting your settles, and every once in a while, the three pops. Now you have a city. Those are very fun road games because it's, it's very hard for like newer players to understand the pacing of that kind of game. So let's play another game, guys. That was a good one. I enjoyed that. 31 minutes. We're happy with that. We'll keep going.